In this presentation, we are going to discuss solve problem 3 on RH criteria. So, let's get started. Consider a transfer function g sub p of s equal to p multiplied with s squared plus 3p multiplied with s minus 2 over s squared plus 3 plus p multiplied with s plus 2 minus p with p a positive parameter. The maximum value of p until which gp remain stable is. This is a numerical answer type question and was asked in GATE EC 2014 given by IIT Kadakpur. So I want you all to pause this video and try this problem on your own. And if you are able to do it, post your answers in the comment section. I hope you are done. So moving on to the solution. In this problem, we are given a transfer function gp of s, which is equal to p multiplied with s squared plus 3p of s minus 2 over s squared plus 3 plus p multiplied with s plus 2 minus p. In this transfer function, p is a positive parameter, it is given in the problem, and we need to find out the maximum value of p until which gp remains stable. Now we know that if we want to comment on the stability, then firstly we have to apply the RH criteria. For that sake, we need to form the routes array. And in order to form the routes array, we need to determine the characteristic equation. So what will be the characteristic equation of this transfer function? Yes, it will be s squared plus 3 plus p multiplied with s plus 2 minus p equal to 0. Yes, we can directly put the denominator of this transfer function equal to 0 in order to have the characteristic equation. Because this is the overall transfer function we are given in this problem. If we are given the open loop transfer function, then only we have to apply the formula 1 plus gs equal to 0. But in this case, this is the overall or we can say the closed loop transfer function. So directly we can have the characteristic equation by equating the denominator equal to 0. So the characteristic equation f of s will be s squared plus 3 plus p multiplied with s plus 2 minus p equal to 0. Now let us form the routes array. So we will have s squared and s power 1. And the first two rows can be formed by the coefficients of this characteristic equation. So it will be 1, 3 plus p, 2 minus p and 0. Now moving on to the third row which is the row of s power 0. And we know that this is the last row of the routes array and this term is the constant term of characteristic equation which is 2 minus p in this case. So this term will be 2 minus p. Moreover, there is an important point to note here. Every time when this element is 0, we can directly copy this term to this row. Because we know this term will be 3 plus p multiplied with 2 minus p minus of 1 multiplied with 0 over 3 plus p. In that case, 3 plus p in the numerator and in the denominator will get cancelled and we will have the same term here. So note that whenever this term is equal to 0, we can directly copy this term in this row. I hope you got this. Now we can find out the range of p for the stability of this system. And we know that for the system to be stable, all the terms in the first column of routes array must have the same sign. In this case, this term is plus 1 which is positive. So these two terms should also be positive. So we will have 3 plus p should be greater than 0 because it should be positive. So we have p should be greater than minus 3. Now from this term, we have 2 minus p should be greater than 0. So we have p should be less than 2. Combining both these inequations, we have a range of p from minus 3 to 2. But we are given in this problem that p is a positive parameter. See, p is a positive parameter. So we can neglect the negative values of p. So we will have a modified range of p which is from 0 to 2. So we can say that this system will be stable when the range of p is from 0 to 2. Now what will be the maximum value of p until which gp remains stable? I want you all to pause this video here and let me know the maximum value of p. Okay, so the range of p is from 0 to 2. So what will happen if we put the value of p equal to 2? Yes, if we put the value of p equal to 2, this row will become 0. And if this row becomes 0, the system will be marginally stable, right? No, this system will not be marginally stable if this row becomes 0. Because this is a row of even power of s. 
and we know that the concept of rho of 0 is only valid for odd powers of s. So, if any even power of s becomes a rho of 0, the system will not be marginally stable or unstable. The system will remain stable even if this rho becomes a rho of zeros. So, we can say that the maximum value of p can be equal to 2. I hope you got this. Since this is a numerical answer type question, many students might have answered 1.99 or 1.999 as the answer because they know that the value of p should be less than 2. And if we put the value of p equal to 2, then this row will become 0. So, they are considering p equal to 2 as the marginal value of p in which the system will become marginally stable. But no, that is not correct. The system will be stable even if we put the value of p equal to 2 and this row becomes a row of zeros because this is a row of even power of s. I hope you got this. So, we can say the maximum value of p such that the system remains stable is 2. Now, what will happen if we increase the value from 2? Yes, if we increase the value of p from 2, that is if we put the value of p greater than 2, then in that case, this term will become negative. In that case, there will be sign changes in the first column of Raoult's array and the system will become unstable. So, the maximum value of p until which gp remains stable is equal to 2. So, p equal to 2 is the correct answer for this problem. So, in this way, we are done with this problem. This was a very basic and a simple problem, yet very conceptual and important problem. I want you all to understand the concept behind this problem one more time. And then after that, I will give you one homework problem. Try this problem on your own and if you are able to do it, post your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching this lecture. I'll end this one here and I'll see you in the next lecture.